We will use the two equations in your book for computing slope and intercept so that we can compute the simple regression equation. The slope equation is given by, uh, is the, the term for it, uh, the mathematical symbol for it is B. And the mathematical symbol for the intercept is A. Notice that in computing A, this is actually y bar, and this term actually is x bar. So we need to compute y bar and x bar, so that then we can use them in our calculations. Summation for x is 25. Summation for y values are 32. So y bar is 32 over 5, because we have 5 observations, or f n is equal to 5, sample size is equal to 5 is 6.4, and x bar is 25 over 5, which is 5. Then we compute x times y, so 4 times 6 is 24, 7 times 9, 169 is the total for x times y column. Then the next step is to square the x's. We can see that we'll be using that in, in here. So we need the x squared terms. And of course we need the x times y terms here. That's why we do these computations. So x squared is 4 squared, let me go back to my black color, uh, x squared, 4 squared, is 16, 49, 4, 36, and 36, and that total is 12, 16, 22, 31, 141. And then we need to square the y values. We do not use that for this problem and for computing the regression equation, but later on we, we will need it for computing correlation coefficient. So I'll go ahead and calculate it uh, for now. Eighty-one. Five times five, or five squared, is twenty-five. Twenty-five and forty-nine. And let's add this up. That's ten, twenty, twenty-six. Two hundred and sixteen is the total. Okay. So um, to apply this uh, equation right here and to compute B or the slope for the line, we need n, which is 5 in this case, sample size, times, and the order of operations is important, times the summation of the xy column. So here's the xy column right here, and the summation is 169. Then we subtract from that product, so this right here needs to be computed, we, and then we need to subtract from it the summation of the x's, which was 25, times the summation of the y column, which is 32. So that right there is a term itself. And then we divide by, again, n, which is 5, times the summation of the x squared column. So the summation of the x squared column is 141. So 5 times 141 minus the summation of the x's, which was 25, squared. Notice how the um, exponent of 2 is outside of the parentheses. So we need to do the what's inside the parentheses, which is the summation of x, which is 25, and then we square it. So 5 times 169, 
is 845. And 25 times 32 is 800. Divided by, and then we have 5 times 141, which is 705, minus the 25 squared, which is 625. So in the numerator, we have 45. In the denominator, we have 7580. So 45 divided by 80 is 0 0.5625. Now, we will need this, we will need this slope so that then we can compute um, the intercept. So A, which is the intercept, n remember that we needed Y bar or the average Y values, which is 6.4. And then we need to subtract from it minus B, which we computed to be 0 0.5625, multiplied by X bar, and X bar we computed to be 5. I wrote it too big, let me multiply it by 5. So again, order of operations is important, so we do this multiplication here first, and then we subtract that answer from um, 6.4. So essentially we have 6.4 minus 0.5625 times 5, which will be 2.8125. And that full answer is 3.5875. And that right there is our Um, intercept for the line. Therefore, our full equation is y equals 3.5875 plus 0 0.5625 times x. And that is our regression equation, simple regression equation, simple or linear regression equation. Thank you.